Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video I want to take you through and show you how I set everything up after my recording sessions to start going through and actually doing the mixing process. So as you can see I've got a typical track in front of me, I've got all my regions set up, all of my mixer control panel is set to parity, you can see all the sliders are set to zero and now I'm ready to start putting things together, start mixing and applying different effects and so on, ready to get the song close to where I want it to be ready for mastering. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how I can set things up to make things just a little bit easier to work with. So let's take a look at that now. So as with everything to do with mixing, none of this is written in stone. This is just a way that I found that makes the whole mixing process and identifying tracks just a little bit easier. So you can see that I've got everything color coded and I've covered that in a previous video and I'll link that in the description below to show you how to do that. Now obviously some of the things I'm going to show you in this video are theme dependent and I'm using default Kamala 5 so you're going to find that mine will probably look a little different to yours but even if you're using the typical standard default theme that ships with you're still going to have a certain level of control over how you can lay things out in the master and the mixer control panel and the track control panel and various other different elements so if we take a look at the mixer control panel down the bottom you can see I've got everything set up with quite small sections on there now that's great when you're doing things like this where you want to control the sliders but it's not necessarily the easiest way to identify where all of your master buses are so you can see I've got things like I've got a vocal master I've got a drum master, I've got a guitar master, solo guitar master and so on. So I've got everything sectioned up and routed through their master tracks. Now when I want to apply effects to those master tracks it can get a little bit awkward looking at the mixer control panel at the bottom to actually identify which is a ordinary track and which is a master bus track or a bus track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to all the relevant tracks and I'm going to change the layout of them to make them just a little bit easier to identify and also to work with. So like I say, you may find you've got some different options or different sort of styles with your particular theme, but have a look through and find out which one you think works the best for what you're trying to do. So if we take a look at the bass, you see the bass master track, which is the first track in there. So if I right click on this and I come up to set track layout, you can see I've got a couple of options. I've got mixer panel, I've got track panel. Now the section down the bottom is the mixer, the section down the side where we've got the actual waveforms and so on, they're your tracks. So... All we need to do is come over to the mixer panel and you can see for this theme I've got a whole range of different options available to me. I've also used color coding so I use green for bass, blue for guitars, red for drums and so on. Now with this particular theme I've got those main colors are already in there so I can use those to identify both the color strip and the actual slider itself will be color coded. Again just a nice way to identify what track you're working with. So what I'm going to do with this one is being a bass track I'm going to come over and say large and I'm going to use green fader. And you can see that will now change the style of the track. It also drops this so it goes onto two rows, which I don't particularly like. So if I right click anywhere over this blank area in my mixer control panel, you can see I've got the option that's checked that says show multiple rows of tracks when size permits. Uncheck that, everything goes back to a single row. So you can see now I've got a, a bigger uh, sort of bus section on there. So now I can immediately see that that's a bus and I can apply things to that when I don't want to get down to each individual track. So I do the same for the rhythm guitar section. So I right click, come up to set track layout, choose mixer panel and this time I'm going to choose large blue fader. I do the same for the drums. Exactly the same thing. So set track, mixer and we'll go for large red. And that's fine for this. I'll come over to the, the vocal one and I'm just going to go on to that. Uh, let's just check there's the vocal master so I can just go on to the set track layout mixer control panel and we're going to come down and we're going to have we'll go for the gold close enough to actually we'll go for white so there we go so now I can immediately see which of these is a bus track so I can quickly and easily identify that and I can then just control the overall mix of each of the sections or I can apply effects to this and it's nice and quick and easy so that's what I'd recommend and as you can see if I just sort of bring this up so we don't need to look at the actual tracks themselves we just concentrate on the mixer section you can see it makes everything just a lot easier to identify exactly what's going on and now I can apply any effects I want to there for the track inserts I can control the overall mix I can solo these out I can mute them I can do anything I want and any track that's underneath that any of the child tracks will also be muted or soloed and have the effects applied to those as it filters on down through. 
So that's just a tip on how you can lay things out to make your mixing process just that little bit easier, both visually and in working process. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. And if you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, happy mixing.